Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earth Master here back on this Sunday, March 12th, 2023, about 1.56 p.m. California time. That is, if you uh, remember to set your clock ahead one hour like I did. Well, I didn't have to because everything's uh, pretty much electronic here. It does it by itself. The latest earthquake shows, um, looks like a 2.7 over here around the Turkey area. Starting to see some deeper movement once again. Uh, around the area to the northwest up around Romania uh, getting in on some deeper movement quakes also some activity kicking up uh, across the west coast and the Alaska region still seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity around the Tanaga volcano uh, where it still continues to sit at an orange and watch level the latest uh, informational statement here uh, earthquake swarm continues. No eruptive activity has been observed from uh, either of these volcanoes down there that we've been kind of monitoring. Uh, here's one of the seismograph stations here uh, showing off the last uh, 24 hours of earthquake activity out here. And there's still quite a bit, folks, ongoing. And uh, we're just kind of waiting, waiting to see how this plays out uh, on the USGS map here. Still shows uh, most of the swarming around the Tanaga and the Takawanga volcano. Although we're noticing a little bit of uh, swarming here to the east. Now looking at this movement here near the Gusty Bay area. Some of this activity um, about 6 to 7 kilometers below the surface. So something definitely uh, I think getting ready to rumble up here so to speak around these volcanoes. Uh, uncertain though as to which one uh, would be the eruptive volcano in the near future. We'll continue to monitor it, keep an eye on it, but for now earthquake swarm continues around both of these volcanoes uh, with no eruptive uh, activity to report as today. Just continued earthquake activity. Across the rest of the Aleutian Trench, uh, getting a little bit of swarming up here around the um, uh, Trident Volcano. This area has been seeing quite a bit of movement here off and on throughout the past few months, literally. And some activity here further to the west. Uh, nothing major. Nothing like what we're seeing back over there along the Aleutian Trench. Uh, we did have an earthquake pop up here off the coast here of the BC region near the Port McNeil. Way out there, 268 kilometers southwest of this area. That is uh, just on the west side of the plate boundary. This is going to be the Juan de Fuca and the Pacific plate boundary here. Cascadia subduction zone sits off to the east a little ways. 4.4 at 10 kilometers deep. Uh, looking down here into northern California. Still seeing some deeper activity there from yesterday. We did have another 2.1 pop up around 5 o'clock this morning. 18 kilometers deep. A little bit further upstream, uh, so might start to see things pick back up here around the Cascadia. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Yesterday's tremor activity showed a little bit of movement um, kicking up around that area. Let me show you guys real quick here, bring this in. Um, around the southern end here of the Cascadia, of course, this movement down dip about 35, 45 kilometers into the Cascadia subduction zone, that adding further strain upstream uh, within the uh, area's uh, much more shallower. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here. There is the earthquake in Idaho yesterday near the Donnelly area, it looks like, a 3.9, 14 kilometers deep. That earthquake did show up uh, rather nicely on the Yellowstone seismographs there from last night. Notice that three-pointer showing up on the majority of the stations. Doesn't look like it's got any effect here on the Yellowstone activity couple small microquakes being reported across this regional local seismograph station there in the uh, northwest corner of the Yellowstone National Park area. But that's about it. Nothing major going on uh, in that area of Yellowstone Supervolcano. West Coast activity. Got a uh, little bit of act movement here. It looks like around the Cobb Mountain area once again. This has just been an ongoing deal around the uh, Calpine hydrothermal operations there. Bay Area fairly quiet. Uh, Southern Cal, as we get down here, did see a little bit of movement off the San Jacinto Fault Zone and a little bit of activity off the Newport Beach here from yesterday. Haven't really seen too much further movement uh, today, though. 
down along the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. It's a fairly quiet, small amount of, uh, I can't say swarming, but a small amount of activity here. Um, looks like most of this here from today. A couple twos and some ones across the area of the Brawley Seismic Zone, which is just pretty much an extensional fault system here of the San Andreas Fault, the southern end. Rest of the country, pretty quiet. Not even one peep of an earthquake to report. Kind of odd. Down along the Middle America Trench here. Uh, looks like most of this activity from yesterday. Let's see what we got here for some newer movement. Looks like we did see uh, maybe a couple of threes and even a four-pointer here. Uh, just south of this area along the southern end of the Middle America Trench showing up on the Earthquake 3D globe. Uh, it's been somewhat active there recently. All right, South America pretty quiet, except for this 4.5, which, um, yeah, that one was from yesterday as well, unless there was another one. That's 4.9. We're missing missing an earthquake here. Let me see. Maybe it's this one way down here, Peru Chile Trench. Is that right? Yeah, that looks about right, 4.5. That one coming in uh, earlier this morning, just about an hour or so ago, a couple hours ago. Um, 29 kilometers deep here at the northern end of the Peru Chile Trench. Down into the Chile area, well, close to there. Argentina region underneath here, 216 kilometers deep for a 4.3 from yesterday. Not really seeing too much earthquake activity ramping up there on the Earthquake 3D globe. Looks like maybe there was a newer quake. Uh, being reported there, a smaller one. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here. 3.9 just off the coast of the Japan region. That one coming into the Japan Trench, it looks like here. Right around here. Uh, there's that earthquake here from yesterday. That one was a pretty deep one, it looks like. 139 kilometers deep. And let's see, Philippine Plate looks fairly quiet right now. Not a whole lot popping off. Java Trench area quiet as well. Not seeing a whole lot of uptick here across the region today. Uh, that could mean things are getting ready to uh, kick up into gear. Let me see what we got here. Most of these are from yesterday, except for one earthquake here, one deep one once again. 579 kilometers for that 4.4 into the Tonga Trench. Nothing really showing up here across New Zealand, but I do want to double check, make sure. Here's the latest earthquake seismograph stations here um, in the New Zealand area. Some activity from yesterday and last night, but uh, overall today doesn't look like a whole lot of movement here being recorded across these uh, earthquake drums. Quick glance here of the earthquake map. The felt reports looks like a 2.6 North Island about an hour ago, five hours ago, 1.9 near the uh, Tapo Super Volcano. But overall seismic activity looks like it is starting to tone down there across the areas of the Kermadec Trench in New Zealand area. Uh, but again, with this deeper movement we've seen, we definitely got to watch areas upstream because um, that's Deeper activity, only adding strain to the um, subduction zone. Right here, uh, further west, Myanmar area, it looks like seeing a 4.8 uh, east-southeast of India. That one coming in about 4 o'clock this morning. Pretty deep earthquake activity there, 112 kilometers deep. And it looks like... That's about the only earthquake in that region uh, until we get around eastern Afghanistan up here uh, where we're seeing a little bit of swarming activity kicking up here across the region, mostly fours, a little bit of bouncing back and forth between the deep and the shallow quakes there in that area. And uh, I know Turkey's got a lot more than just one earthquake here, 4.3 on the Earthquake 3D globe here. Shows quite a bit of swarming and some deeper movement quakes here with that 4.2. Uh, coming in, let's see exactly where that's at. <clears throat> uh, Romania, 131 kilometers deep. Uh, coming in, looks like just earlier this morning. So continue to watch this area for some further activity. Yeah, it looks like they did report it. 4.2 up here. Uh, the rest of Mediterranean, quiet there on the USGS globe. 
or map, but here on the globe, got some twos and ones across the area. Mostly microquakes there today. Let's see here, what else we got? Um, just trying to think here how this is moving today. Looks a little odd as far as earthquake activity goes. It may be starting to shift back here to the Eastern Pacific and these adjacent plates here with this newer swarm around the middle American Trench. But uh, again, deeper activity. Got to watch this area upstream here uh, for some adjustment today. I think that's looking looking likely. 4.2 coming in. That's a Romania earthquake. Got to make sure I adjust that uh, time stamp. The latest one here shows a 3.7 into the Turkey area right now. Or 3.5. Mixing it up on me, it looks like. What we got here... Um, 4.2 coming in that was uh, within the last hour 145 kilometers deep Columbia area alrighty let's see what else we got uh, checked Yellowstone earthquakes Canada I don't think we've got too much going on up there uh, on the weekend there's some of that activity from um, yesterday with that 3.9 looks like they're reporting that as a 4.3 goodness it's a little bit higher than what the USGS reported right or maybe not oh, wow. what am I thinking was not a 3.9 maybe not uh, losing an hour of sleep look what it does actually I slept pretty good still just feeling a little bit under the weather all right um, earthquakes Canada once again up here along the plate boundary there's that 3.8 uh, I know I've seen that one come in late last night. We're watching that on the uh, Seismos, but uh, overall looks like Canada for the most part Relatively quiet not seeing any major unusual activity out here across the areas Space weather activity is somewhat quiet as well Not seeing a whole lot of flaring over the past couple days it's actually been pretty neutral here with only an occasional sea flare and not even uh, anything significant Current threat level looks like 95% chance for a C flare. M flare at 15, X flare at 1%. And all of these sun classes here look fairly stable. There's not a whole lot of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, development out here uh, that I see taking place across the area of the sun. All these sunspots have basically dwindled down and um, degraded, so to speak. Nothing really uh, to look at. I mean, it's all, um, they're all just kind of going away. So it looks like we may be entering into a, um, a very quiet time here of the sun for now, but uh, probably only be short lived. All right, let's see what else we got here across the area. Uh, no major solar storms. Auroras are very minimal. Not a whole lot of potential up there right now at all. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Um, have yourself a good day. We'll be back here a little bit later on. We've got a uh, little bit of rain coming in here in Northern California right now and also a chance of uh, thunderstorms around the area, mostly around Sacramento southward here in California. But uh, up here around Chico, we got a little shot of seeing some uh, activity. But uh, I'm not going to hold my breath on it. Have a good one, folks. We'll catch you guys back here later tonight with the update. Have a good one.